So welcome back to another video tutorial on watercolour painting. Today's subject is at Thornham in Norfolk. Um, it's on the mud estuaries there and the tide goes out and there's some creeks as well. Um, this part here is going to be the water. We've got some mud flats at the side, raw umber kind of um, marshes and in the distance we've got some sort of blues and greys there. It says it's, the light's coming from this direction. It's quite misty, it's early in the morning. Um, and then we've got our focal point, which is this boat, which is kind of um, sort of washed in there, waiting for the tide to come in. A few of these jetty poles. So it's, it's quite a simple um, composition. And we're gonna paint it as simply as we possibly can. And let's just get straight into this one. So here's our sketch, and we're gonna get stuck into this. Um, today's brushes, the usual three that I, I'm using, which is a, a mop brush, number six, a number 10 uh, round, and a small round brush, and a scoed one, which is a number two for finer detail. So we're gonna start with foreground, sky, just establishing the tones in this. So this is just clear water going straight in here. So we're gonna build around uh, the mud flats. We're gonna leave the water. Uh, I'm not gonna put that in yet. So just sort of carefully avoid this area and avoid the boat because the boat is white and a sort of blacky blue color in there as well. And I was saying it's a kind of misty sort of sky. So we'll, we'll mix up a kind of misty color, but down on the horizon, we'll touch in some umber as well. We'll mix up a kind of gray uh, mixture here. Let's have a look and see what that's like. Mm, it's quite, quite red, isn't it? Let's go. I'm trying to get this a bit grayer. Using the side of the brush, just letting it do its own thing. Quite like those little specks of white coming in there. We're going to leave that, and we're just going to keep that really, really, really simple. And um, remember, remember this kind of colour. Uh, and actually, what I'll do is I'll pop some of it there as a reflection back in for the water. So I must avoid that pool of liquid here we're going to use that in a lighter tone layer so let's just get straight into this um, the raw umber i'll bring this in here just carefully go around the boat we'll bring it down in here it really is interesting out there on this estuary on these flats the this, this color suits it really well. We're gonna warm it up slightly with some um, burnt sienna down here for the mud. Get the mud flats in here. And that will probably do now on a first kind of um, wash. What we will do though is we'll just pop in some of that mixture that we said, lighter mixture in there, just leave a few little shifts of light in there just to mimic the sky color. But we're going to keep that really, really light. In fact, I might even take a little bit of that out. I know that's going to dry back quite a lot, but back here, especially, just having a look at my original sketch to see how this is working out. Just might take out some of this. We need to build the impact obviously around here, the darkest darks and the lightest lights. But that's a nice little first, first wash start. Um, I'm going to leave that to dry off and we'll get back to step stage two. So here we are, this is almost dry, quite slightly damp here. And this is the ultramarine blue. Just make this a little bit more liquidy. I'm just going to come in with some of these distant uh, trees. I hope there's some hole in the brush near the near the end of the handle. We'll 
just let it do its own thing there. What I also want to do is just pop in some clear liquid and let some of this kind of just bleed in a little bit lighter, especially across there, the distance that's better. And then we'll pop in some clear water all the way along here, right the way along. Just let that bleed in. You, you don't want in the back distance really edges. I mean, I mean, sometimes they do work, but it depends the effect that you're looking at. Here, it's a misty day. We're trying to, you know, get that effect. Plenty of mist coming around. So that's that part done. Just let that do its own thing. And then we need to think about building this forward, tonally. Um, there is a middle section here, the mid-ground, obviously got the distance and the blue, the mid-ground, and then this foreground. If we strengthen the foreground, um, by popping in some darker tones here, we will, in effect, push this back. We'll work on that in a second, there's some bits there and then that was the raw amber and then we'll warm it up on the mud flat part here which is this sienna burnt sienna we don't need to be too precise with this the main thing is to, to retain some of the underpainting that we did and little patches I've just got some light coming through And try and follow some of these lines the edge here and come back in with this number two brush and just use some of this liquid to to um indicate bits of foliage really they can pop in some there bleed in so we'll just leave that to do that and while that's doing that we'll come in with some burnt umber just pop in some stronger notes down here a couple here just let that bleed in a bit just do its own thing there pop in a little bit of the foliage That's that. So we'll let this dry off and then we'll come back to the next stage. So this is almost dry, slightly damp, but while that's um, drying off, we'll just start to work on some of this focal point. Uh, we're gonna work in here with the um, Payne's Gray with our smaller brush. And I'm just gonna pop in these windows. Pretty dark. Those are rather dark. It's just getting the shape of these really. We don't want to fill the whole thing in, that wouldn't be good. And then we need to start to pop in some, just make that a bit of liquid here. Here. Best not to be too precise down at the base because it just looks weird. It just kind of sit, if we be blocked this in without these little these small gaps, um, it'll just kind of sit up. And and this is not really a very shadowy day, so we need to be mindful of that. And here, if I just draw the way round, that would just look not good. So. We just kind of dab around really, that's how I kind of explain it, just dab about. Some of the pencil work will come through which is fine. 
um, some little bits here, there's a few little railings off there. And then we'll, we will pop in a shadow or two in there on the actual boat itself. Um, just to sort that bit out. That'll do. I might put, pop up a little bit of blue in here as well, just to vary that. And then going in with some strong uh, paint in here. It's burnt umber. We're just going to come straight down. Some of it's going to be dry brush work. These J posts are amazing in reality, the way they kind of dominate the, the landscape around this, this part of Norfolk. Again, notice where I'm holding the brush, kind of near the end of the handle. Just get some of these bits in here. The main bit is to get the design of this right in terms of the way it's fallen there and we'll just pop off some of these railings and jetty bits. Just a lighter tone there. We'll use some of that mixture to pop in the edges of this. bank here hopefully they'll send that back a bit and while we're still with this mixture we can just pop in here um, some foliage which sharpens it up a little bit and then pushes everything else back you don't want to go too much with this just vary it in directions Kind of, it's quite blustery and windy down this part of Norfolk. And so just a few more here. Okay, that's nice, we'll just leave that. Okay, that's that section done. So we're getting at the end of this, just gonna keep it fresh. This is the ultramarine that we had earlier. In some of this Lazar and Crimson, Lazar and Crimson in here to warm this up a little bit. And we're just gonna focus in now on some shadow colour. So the light was coming from that direction, so we can safely say that there was shadows in here. Um pop in a few down there, a few under here. Uh, part of this boat of the light was coming there would probably be in shadow here. That's fine. Got in a, some bits here. Just pop some of that mixture right the way across there just to just dampen that down in here. Just gonna keep get tissue in there to keep this preserve this the light in here. I might just take that one out slightly, that's better. Um clear water just to soften off some of these this is quite nice. We'll just take this back a little bit here strong okay that's better we'll just flick in some just clear water there just so it does it our own thing and we're kind of almost getting finished on this 
I do want to preserve the edge of this here. It's kind of got this, the misty sort of effect, which is, is what we wanted, which is nice. I might just go in slightly stronger, finally just down on this part here, or change the tones, that's a bit strong. Just pop in a little bit more, more blue in here. That's better. It's good to mix shadows, don't have them all the same sort of tone or color. You can pop in, you know, extra little bit of blue, or a little bit of red or, or whatever takes your fancy really, and that will work. We know that cooler colors push things back and warmer colors bring things forward. But we're kind of, I think we're done. And I'm happy with that. Uh, last little thing I'm going to pop in some white so we'll let this dry I just want to pop in some highlights and a couple of birds so this is some uh, Chinese white there watercolor paint just taking it straight out of the tube getting quite a lot of it on there it's just here I wanted to, to pop in a touch back of this boat and these little bits and bobs here it's just uh, it's kind of preference really it's just it's bringing out highlights we'll pop in a couple there what when this merges in it's quite nice and I've scratched out a few bits there but it's, it's good to have some um, variety easy to go nuts on this but this is great for creating sort of just a, a few specks of, of light just pop in there one more little one down here last last always last much darker in tone here this paint's grey I'm just going to pop in a little bit in there not much just a little bit mix up with some blue just get a little bit of variety in there and that's it we're done hopefully you enjoyed that one uh, remember to like to subscribe uh, to comment but the main thing is take care now and keep on painting. Yeah, take the tape off as well. Finish painting.